Praise the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. Welcome to the Now of God podcast. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We are so excited about being here today and uh, being able to walk in the land of the living and glorify Hashem. God is good. God is good to us. He has been so gracious. And uh, today is December. What is it? December the 7th. Yeah, December the 7th. My goodness, 2021. And we are um, just operating in the now of God, the now of God. Beloved, we want you uh, to hear from the Lord. We want you to hear from the Lord for yourself. We want you to be able to uh, function on a higher level of effectiveness in the functionality of the kingdom of God. That is what God has given us to do. We are locked in that, locked in on that, and we encourage those of you who are listening to the podcast to take time out to really get still and listen to what the Lord is saying through the Now of God podcast. We have long since stopped trying to fix people, stopped trying to minister behavioral modification ministry, but we have come to recognize that if we ever are used of the Lord to introduce someone to him, if they can ever put their hand in his hand, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. And years ago, the Lord spoke to me about that. And he said, Richardson, you just put them in my care and I got them. Just tell them about me. And you get out the way and let me do what I need to do. Now, it doesn't mean that we don't help people. We don't meet, uh, continue to minister to people. But in fact, we are a discipleship center here in Denver. Our ministry is called My Father's House, International Christian Discipleship Center, where people are empowered to do the will of God, spiritually, mentally, physically, and economically. God has blessed us tremendously. And we have been teaching uh, folk, wh whoever want to listen, that empowerment is the distribution of resources. I say it again, empowerment is the distribution of resources. And the Lord has blessed us to have multiple uh, resources, multiple streams of resources, things that we believe that are necessary for mankind. He has given us everything that pertains to life and godliness according to the knowledge of him who has called us. And so we have come to embrace um, that we are one of many vessels, many uh, streams, I guess I would say, uh, where the Lord will use us to be able to be a blessing to other people. And so we're so very grateful um, what he is doing and how he has been moving in the land. Uh, my wife and I had a great time in Fort Lauderdale, Florida with Apostle Ball and Apostle Douglas uh, and their team down there in the five-fold global traveling network. My goodness, y'all better get ready. 2022 uh, is here. It's in the now. <laughs> Glory to God. It is in the now that we're operating in. Uh, I do want to tell our listening audience about our podcast, our, our YouTube channel. We have a YouTube channel uh, over on YouTube uh, under my father's house. And just, you know, you Google us, my name, and you'll find it. And um, every Wednesday at 7 o'clock p.m., every Wednesday at 7 o'clock p.m., we are doing live streaming uh, on our YouTube channel. And typically, uh, sometimes we live stream on the channel on Sunday. We don't, we don't always do it on Sunday uh, for live streaming, but we... Um, are looking at um, that schedule and how we want to proceed on that. But anyway, so on Wednesday night, tomorrow night, tomorrow night, December the 8th, 7 o'clock p.m., we're going to be live streaming and you definitely want to tune in. You definitely want to tune in. It's going to be very powerful. We're going to uh, start working from a, a process to help the body of Christ to function in kingdom, kingdom function functionality. And so that we can function in the way that God has called us to operate and the intended purpose. We have, we have things that are, are of interest to us, each one of us. And we all um, have an idea. I believe we have an idea of what we should be doing as 
adults, individuals, or just people in general. And um, there's nothing um, wrong per se, but I do know that God has a way. God has a way that he wants us to go. And when I, what I had to do, <laughs> oh, glory to God. What I decided to do when he touched my heart, and that was to go his way, that to go his way, lean not to my own understanding, but in all of my ways, acknowledge him. And he began to order my steps. He began to direct my path. And the Proverbs uh, says, there are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. And so when we are walking in the way of the Lord, when we start walking in the things that he's called us to walk in, there are um, portals, there are uh, areas that are accessible to us when we start walking in the way, uh, in that way, <laughs> glory to God. Uh, yeah, that way, when we start walking in what God has called us to walk in, I have found it to be refreshing. I have found, I have found it to be just a tremendous blessing. And so when we um, are ministering here on the podcast, we're here uh, to help you on your journey. And as I said, is uh, our purpose is to help the body of Christ to transition to a higher level of effectiveness in the functionality of the kingdom of God. And so we're going to be about the business here today. And uh, we have been talking about um, mental health in the body, mental health in the body. I am led of the Lord to uh, bring a couple more um, uh, steps of clarity, uh, bringing some things to you that may uh, help you. And um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and be about this. Let's be about this. So now um, we started uh, last, not last week, well, I was out last week, but we started talking on the subject of, can somebody help me find my mind? Can somebody help me find my mind? And one of the things that we have discovered and just from the uh, course of just going through what we've gone through and just life itself has helped help me to, one, have greater compassion for people who are struggling in life where they can't seem to get um, off first base. They can't seem to get uh, off out of the batter's box. And many times they stand up and they want to hit the ball, but they just can't seem to put the bat on the ball. And they're not real sure what's happening. And one of the things the Lord has given us um, to do in ministry, and that is to disciple his people, to disciple his people. And my talk today, and I'm going to always stay within that which God has called me to do. <laughs> I know what he called Richardson to do. And that is to disciple his people. He told me, he said, I don't need you to build me a steeple, but I do want you to build my people. And I said, yes. And in that response, he has helped me to recognize how important it is uh, to equip the body of Christ for uh, the work of the ministry. Years ago, when I was a young lad, young lad, um, I was in high school, my senior year, a principal came to me and said, Richardson, I got good news and bad news. And I knew this is, I knew this was not a good meeting. It was probably my last semester in high school. And the principal, his name was Gary Wajinki. I'll never forget him. Cool white guy, just, he related to all of us as students, but they put us in an experiment that we weren't ready for uh, in terms of our maturity. They put me in a class setting, told me I needed to check, and I'm not pointing the finger, but I'm telling you the reals here. They put me in a class setting at 15 years of age as a freshman, and I could pick my classes, figure out when I wanted to go to class, what I wanted to do, and if I could, um, just as long as I had enough modules in at the end of the week, that was the concept, okay? And at 15 years of age and putting that in my hand, I failed miserably in that experiment I call that they did in the Lansing School Districts. But he... At the end of uh, three years, he called, called me into the office and he said, 
I got good news and bad news in it. I said, well, what's the good news? Uh, no, I said, what's the bad news? That's how I operate. Give me the bad news first, and then it can only get better. He said, the bad news is that you missed 128 school, uh, days of school. 128 days of school you have missed. And I says, really? As if I was shocked. <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to class. It was, no, it was nothing but a party for me in high school. I took it literally. Called, they called it high school, and I took it literally because that's all I did in school was get high. Hello. Thank you for listening to the Now of God podcast. My name is Leslie Richardson. I am your host. Find out more and how you can listen to the conclusion of this podcast. Visit me at LeslieDRichardson.com, LeslieDRichardson.com, and subscribe to the Now of God podcast. God bless you.